Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. According to overseas media, the tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands has been signed by the end of 2022, but the three countries have not made any official announcements to the outside world for as long as three months. Until ASML, Japanese companies it is constantly emphasized that the specific content of the agreement is officially announced. In the first 10 days of March, the Netherlands officially stated to follow up the new regulations. Subsequent ASML was only allowed to ship 1980 DI equipment, and Japan also officially announced new regulations a dozen days later restricting the shipment of 23 core-making equipment. Once these new regulations are approved after all, China's semiconductor industry may indeed be locked in the 14 nanometers process. However, the Netherlands seems to have compromised on the surface, but they are constantly planning to resume supply behind the scenes. The president of ASML visited China in good faith and obtained China's market commitment. Soon, Chinese high-level officials also began to cooperate with the Netherlands to carry out a series of operations. Japan can only sigh, it turned out that we were the only ones who were deceived. The Netherlands officially stated its attitude towards China. Chips based on silicon-based materials need to rely on lithography machines regardless of the size of the process. Among them, 7 nanometers and below processes require high-end EUV lithography machines. Chinese semiconductors are stuck on 14 nanometers because the equipment cannot be obtained. At present, only ASML in the Netherlands can manufacture and has the power to monopolize the world, but it is not as good as imagined. Relying on the United States in terms of core technology, and it is difficult to get rid of the dependence, ASML has gradually lost its right to operate independently. In the early stage of the implementation of the CHIP rules, it was required to cut off the supply of EUV lithography machines to China and the 5 nanometers chips developed and designed by Huawei. It directly affected the interests of American companies, and the chip rules have been continuously upgraded since then. Nowadays, the scope of lithography machines supplied to Chinese companies has transitioned from EUV to DUV. As a result, the global supply system of the semiconductor industry has been severely damaged. No company in the supply chain has been spared, and high-end chips cannot be shipped normally. Afterwards, facing huge economic losses, American companies have united to start anti-water chip rules. Lithography machines are important for core making but they are not all of them. Etching machines, cleaning machines, ion implanters, etc. are also needed. Japan has publicly restricted more than 23 items, and China is not without any foundation. Just like the 5 nanometers etching machine implemented by China Microelectronics, it has entered the supply chain of TSMC. For the United States, the overall strength of the semiconductor industry is not strong. In addition to basic technology and core patents, the main advantages are concentrated in R&D and design. For core equipment and manufacturing processes, it also depends on imports from various countries. The originally relatively harmonious ecology was broken by the selfishness of the Biden team. Although the Dutch official announcement will follow up the restrictive measures in the summer, they obviously do not intend to compromise on this. 
ASML has made its attitude clear, saying that there are still many old equipment that can be shipped to China, and when Inca visited China again after six years, has also obtained the promise of China's top management. As long as the lithography machine can be shipped normally, China will definitely give it a certain market share. According to trade statistics in 2022, China is still the third largest trading partner of the Netherlands. If the cooperation between the two parties breaks down due to the shipment problem of lithography machines, it will definitely not be worth the loss. Currently, there is a demand for DUV lithography machines. Basically only the Chinese market remains, so it is impossible for the Netherlands to completely compromise with the hegemonism of the United States. Although the current state is not what the Netherlands wants to see, DUV lithography machines have been targeted by the United States, and the shipment of ASML will definitely be hindered in the short term. In order to avoid damage to trade relations, the Netherlands has repeatedly emphasized that there are many old models. The equipment can be shipped. The implication is to let Chinese customers place orders with confidence, and the shipment problem will definitely be resolved. China's top executives began to cooperate with ASML. The result that the Netherlands wants has already come. According to media sources, Chinese high-level officials have agreed to a three-day visit to the Netherlands. The best way to test the attitude of the United States. China's high-level leaders also made it clear that during the entire visit to the Netherlands, they will work together to meet challenges to ensure the stable operation of the global industrial chain. China's sincerity has been shown, and the Netherlands will naturally take action. On the other hand, Japan will gradually put itself the road was dead. Everyone knows that Japan at this stage is just a small follower of the United States. After the announcement of 23 restrictions on the shipment of semiconductor equipment, there is no way out. Although Japan has a rich semiconductor industry, it does not have super high-level technology. China has conquered it. It will also be relatively simple. Japan has always been highly dependent on China's market share, but this time it foolishly abides by American rules, thinking that the Biden team can win this game, so that they can reap the benefits of the fishermen, but never thought of restricting Japanese companies' shipments after that. The shipment restrictions of US equipment manufacturers were soon released. But Nikon and Canon have fallen into the trap of the United States. What do you think of this?